So we had the superstorm Sandy, and uh, the politicians had a trouble dealing with it because it's right before an election. They've got to go to campaign events, but they can't go to campaign events because they've got to be sensitive to the victims of the storm. Now, for President Obama, honestly, it's a little easier. He's the president. He just goes and does his job, and that winds up helping him politically anyway. So he, he of course, canceled his campaign events and went and, and looked after the hurricane, made sure that FEMA was doing this job, and today he was in New Jersey with Governor Christie, who uh, praised them significantly. Now, Mitt Romney yesterday was in Ohio. He's going to do a campaign event, but he can't anymore because it doesn't look good. So they come up with a genius idea to instead call it a storm relief event. Well, oh, then it's totally okay. Now, so why do they do this? Well, as they... Press explains, and BuzzFeed had a terrific article about this, quote, it would be a way for Romney to show leadership and get on the local news without looking craven or opportunistic. I love that, okay? So let's figure out a way to be craven and opportunistic without looking like that, okay? And that's what they did. So they uh, switched the signs around, they put away the campaign signs, they did some long tables so you could bring in canned foods and give it. By the way, the Red Cross says, don't give us canned foods. That is not what we need. In fact, it's counterproductive because we use our time and personnel and money trying to figure out what to do with the canned foods. We need the money, Lebowski, so we can actually give people the specific kinds of help that they need along the East Coast, okay? So it doesn't matter though. They don't care about the relief. This, it's about politics, of course, of course. Now, I'm not saying that Romney doesn't care about the people who got washed out or who got injured or hurt or killed during the storm or none of the Republicans do, but I'm saying at this point, and I understand, it, you're a week out from the election. That's not his primary concern, because, especially because realistically there's nothing he can do about it. He's not the president, he's not even a senator, he's not a governor at this point, he's just a guy running for office. So he's like, ah, how do I take best advantage of this? Now, the rest of the article in explaining how he did that is awesome. So here's the details. So they're worried that if they do this storm relief event and the Republicans that show up, their voters, supporters, etc., don't actually believe, bring any of those canned foods or anything to help, diapers, whatever else that they told them to bring, well, then it's going to look really bad. So this happens next. Quote, campaign aides went to a local Walmart and spent 5,000 on granola bars, canned food, and diapers to put on display while they waited for donations to come in, according to one staff. Better safe than sorry. And the campaign does not deny it, by the way. So then, here comes the funny part. They want a photo op where Romney is receiving the canned goods and he's like, oh, thank you so much. Our hearts go out to the victims of this hurricane and we really appreciate you bringing them in. So they tell people this, quote, as supporters lined up to greet the candidate, a young volunteer in a Romney Ryan t-shirt stood near the tables, his hands cupped around his mouth, shouting, you need a donation to get in line. You're not going to meet Romney without a donation. We need a good photo op here. You need a donation. Okay, all right. Now, here's the problem. A lot of folks actually brought the donations. They're good hearted people. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. Of course, people, it, real people, real voters, etc., are worried about the guys on the East Coast. We all are, right? So they had brought the stuff in anyway. So they didn't need all the fake supplies. But the problem was they had left them in the front when they came in, which makes sense. But that doesn't help the photo op. So here's what happens next. The volunteer gestured toward a pile of groceries conveniently stacked near the candidate and has said to the people, just grab something. So this is the $5,000 worth of stuff that they had brought in, right? So just grab something, hurry up, hurry up, get in front of the camera, get in front of the camera, okay? And then finally, two teenage boys retrieved a jar of peanut butter each and got in line. When it was their turn, they handed their donations to Romney. He took them, smiled, and offered an earnest thank you. And that right there in a nutshell, apparently in a peanut butter nutshell, <laughs> is politics for you in America. <laughs> the art of looking earnest while being enormously fake. And that's how this thing works.